kindly sit down. Thank you for your courtesy. <clears throat> Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Senate President Vicente Soto III, former Locosur Governor Luis Chavez Singson, the honorable members of the House of Representatives, officials and employees of the GAC Motor Industry and Ligado Motor incorporated other guests, ladies and gentlemen. Occasions like this are always a perfect time to celebrate new beginnings. I am thus pleased to join you today as we mark the birth of a promising partnership between the Legado Motors and the Guanza Motor Group of Motor, or JSC. It is indeed an honor to welcome JSC Motor to the Philippines. On behalf of the Filipino people, I'd like to thank you for your confidence in investing and expanding your business here in this country. Rest assured that your trust will never be put in vain. The Philippine automotive market is among the fastest growing in Southeast Asia. Its annual growth rate of 22% in the last five years makes it a conducive place for trade and business. Our outlook for the automotive industry in the long term remains bullish as we expect continuing motorization that will be driven by a robust economic growth. Indeed, recent studies estimate that the local motor vehicle demand could reach one million units in 2028. Thus, the entry of GAC motor in the Philippines market will provide consumers with more choices and the purchase of motor vehicles. Thus, in return, requires manufacturers and dealers to ensure the quality and excellence of their products and services in order to compete with the leading market players. Let me assure you that this government is doing its best to ensure a living playing field for investors. We will continue to provide both foreign and local investors like the GAC Motor and Ligado Motors with assistance they need so that their venture may prosper and flourish. Just this year, I've signed the Ease of Doing Business Act to simplify government services and transactions. With this law, we expect to attract more investments and encourage stakeholders to actively contribute in strengthening and cultivation of our industries. Let me veer a few sentences away from the prepared speech. Anyway, this is not mine. But I've always been of the belief that unless this country will have law and order and corruption stop in government, we will go nowhere. Mark my word and remember me when I'm gone. So that I'd like to encourage, urge, and move businessmen, especially foreigners and locals, that if there's anything that bothers you in the course of your business, in your application to do business, or in the running of your business, and you run into something like attempts or demands amounting to corruption, 
everybody is put on notice that you can have an audience with me in my office by the Pasig River. I'm giving you a 24 hours audience should the case maybe. Sabihin lang ninyo na may isumbong kayo you can approach any senator, congressman, any public official or your friend and all you have to do is to call somebody and it's available, I am sure the number is simply 8888 on TV. Give his name, the person trying to extort or ask money from you or even little favors. It is not allowed by law. It is not mine. I am here just to enforce it, because I said, unless we stop corruption, the Philippines would be just like a flotsam going by the tide of the sea, to and fro. But if you have something against anybody in government, anybody at all, Go to me, I will contact you, and I will call the person you are complaining against. And the three of us will talk. And I assure you that if it is indeed something which amounts to corruption or graft, I'll give you the privilege of slapping that person a dozen times in front of me. That way, you place him in humiliation and you maybe shed of his dignity. And those are the right remedies for an idiot who is not needed in the government. Humiliation and maybe a loss of face is more than just the money. It is the worst way of losing whatever is left of you in this planet. Part of our efforts in creating a business-friendly environment is our ongoing campaign to eradicate criminality, illegal drugs, and corruption. Eliminating these social ills is the only way for us to attain genuine peace, foster economic growth, and promote sustainable development for our people. I invite the business community to join us in hurling these obstacles so that we may fully realize our potential as a nation. Working together, let us build a truly robust society where prospects for growth abound and where citizens enjoy a prosperous and comfortable life. Again, congratulations. I wish you all the best. Thank you.